Hello guys, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Mocking. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome double exposure effect. But before we jump into that, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this coming your way. And don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Now let's dive right into Premiere Pro. So to create this effect, the best kind of footage that you can use for this kind of effect is a footage that has a subject on a bright or a white background. I'm going to drop a second video beneath it so if i play this you'll see it's just a regular video of a guy plugging an ear pod into his ears so what you probably want to do is to make sure that both videos align to the same length and the next thing you would like to do is to ensure that the video you are putting on your top layer is black and white so for this i don't have so much to change so i'm going to come over to my rgb curve over here and pull this down a little bit I'm trying to make sure that this stays as black and white. So I'm going to scroll up now to my saturation and take out everything to zero to make sure that there's no color on it. Now I'm going to come over to my effects control tab over here, scroll down and change my blend mode to screen. And automatically you can see that we're already beginning to see video in the track one layer beneath this video here. But the problem I'm having right now is that the video in track 2 is not as visible as I want it to be. So what you're going to do is scroll down and increase the visibility of the video in your track 2. So the more I do this, the more you will notice that the video in track 1 is now taking shape, the more. So I'm going to increase the scale of this guy so I can take out every other portion that I do not need and align him downward. So I'm going to also align her to the way I want her to be. I want her to probably come over to the left so she can be more visible. Another thing I would like to do is to increase her own opacity so that she can be more visible. So I'll just increase her saturation also and increase her contrast also, for my RGB curve here, I'm going to create an S curve also to increase her own saturation. So I think his own white is excessive. So I'm going to click on my V2 video above here and reduce the white. All right, guys, so that is basically how to create a double exposure effect in Premiere Pro. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found this tutorial very useful and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section.